This thing was my favorite for the longest. Just because look at the damage. This bad boy, she's... You need 24, right? I only got 20. But if you're close enough, they allow you to use it with two hands. This thing just hits hard. It has this nice little crushing attack. Let me show y'all. Let me come across the... This looks like something Zelda would wear. What unfortunate soul will get stepped on today? You. Watch this. Bam! Bam! Smashes him to the ground. You? Don't even think. Bam! Yeah, that's why I like that. It just hits hard. Alright, now we're going to go and purchase this crest from my boy Andre. Change yourself from being a prune. Go ahead and kindle this bonfire. Basically what that does is increases the amount of flasks that you get whenever you rest at that certain bonfire. My boy Andre, you know what I'm here for. Let me get that crest. Alright, I'll tell you all about the crest when I get there. Yo, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Put some clothes on. Later, Andre. Now here you're gonna come across the headless, legless, whatever this is. Uh, do not be fooled by this man's speed at all. Because he definitely hurts. Now he will do a specific attack where he'll jump up and basically slam his little pole on the ground. Like this. Please dodge. Don't try and block unless you have a strong shield. And that's that. He will drop us a nice demon shard, right? Demon Titanite. And we'll be on our way. In this place, oh my goodness. Yo, will kick this man off. Goodbye. Don't run too fast past this rock. Ooh. You got some souls. Now, if you remember way back when, there were these things called illusionary walls. Basically fake walls. You run up to certain walls. Swing at them. Oh. It was fake the whole time. You can roll them to them. Anything that, I guess, interacts with the wall will work. I forgot what's in this little cubby hole. But this right here, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. You go in here, as soon as you pick this up, you get swarmed. You see them? About like three of them. Just leave it alone. I don't even remember what's there. Wait until you come back to get it. Go through that fog, immediately go to the right. Get rid of this tree. Giant's over there, but you're gonna get swarmed if you go to meet him directly. So hug this little corner. Let them pop up. Let them surprise you. Alright, this guy right here. I like to get as close as I can. Because most likely he's gonna do that little magic attack. And then what that does is basically makes you super heavy. I guess I won't be able to show you. I'll wait till I come across one. I'll give my myself up for research. My character, that is. He's not gonna do it. Yeah, he is. I'm gonna knock him low first. All right. So you get a nice little ring around you. Ouch! Makes so uh, you try to dodge. Whoa! You do this nice little stumble attack, which basically happens whenever your equip load goes over the max. All right. Uh, uh oh! I woke one up. So basically, just run through here. There's some nice armor. If that's what you're into. Uh, oh, here's the enter. This is a summon thing. I wish that I can uh, do it. Here we go. Ouch. So what that basically is. Whoa. Uh -oh. I think I'm done here. I think I'm cooked. Try to be fast. Oh, 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 she's getting banged. Let's try this again. And hopefully the summon isn't destroyed. Oh, that sucks. Basically, if you're not up to level, you'd summon that witch. It would help you fight this majestic moonlight butterfly. Uh oh. That's one of his attacks. But I think he has like three attacks. That one that follows you. He has one that shoot out spikes. Basically, what you want to do is... You oh, there it is. There you go. Basically, want to run around until it decides to chill out. Obviously, it won't stay here forever. See that pop up? Get out of there. It definitely hurts. Oh, here's our second attack. Oh, third one. Basically, dodge when it gets super close. There you go. Should be your last time perching here. Goodbye. Go 
ahead and run yourself over this way. R.I.P. Witch Beatrice. Run up here. Watchtower basement key. Oh, that's um where we fought Havel. Vine Ember. Soul of a Moonlight Butterfly. That's what we get. Basically, whenever you defeat main bosses, you're going to get their souls, which you can either consume and get soul currency for, or you can use to make a unique weapon from their soul. Now, obviously, to create that unique weapon, you need to combine a specific weapon in their soul to make that unique weapon. I remember the days of duplicating all my souls. Now, Crest of Artorius opens the sealed door in Heart of Forest. That's this thing right here. Should we not have had that? We have to go all the way back down that way. Go down that hill. Go through them crystal golems. Fight a hydra. And then climb a long ass ladder. And then we'd be there. We'd be over here. And then we'd also have to fight everybody in this forest. Just because we came through that way. Even though we're going to have to fight some people. Anyway. Like this man right here. Oh I'm being banked. I didn't think it happened this early. Backstab. And see. Yeah damn that sucks. I always end up getting raided. Damn, look, there he is. He doesn't look like he has much. He has the sweet. The same thing I got. Let's see if I can backstab him. Oh, this guy? He's an actual person. I don't really get into raids. Oh, snap. I'm just running over to everybody, aren't I? Backstab him. Oh, nah, he sucks. Come here. Let's see if I can put him in a loop. Come here. Oh, that's cheating. And then you're done. Did this man just switch weapons on me? Look at him, running. Goodbye. Oh, I missed. Goodbye. Uh-oh. That was the wrong taunt, but I did it anyway. Like I said, I usually don't get into raids because you come across cheaters on here i'm actually surprised i didn't come across an op person so i guess i gotta fight these guys anyway which sucks but oh well bring them all on i don't remember having to fight these guys when i buy this the seal go ahead talk to this weird looking cat just say yes go ahead join the covenant she gonna give you a nice little ring that'll be very helpful in the future and here Wait a minute, I lied. This is the wrong ring. I just finessed you all, sorry. She's mainly uh, an online play kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can rest at this bonfire. See, and now we cool. Now we cool. After I just ran through all of them, now we cool. Ah. Basically all you'll be talking about is serve them right, don't betray them. That's all you need to know. If you're in a hurry, don't be. Come around here. Open this chest. You're gonna get some very nice gear. You'll come across these cool looking mushroom people. Do not attack. The little ones are not hostile. But the big ones on the other hand, they will rip your head off. Check this out. Really quick. It's a nice little enchanted ember. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna run over to this gate. I want you all to prepare yourselves. One of the most sad boss fights. You know, it probably isn't the saddest, but it's definitely up there. This huge battlefield. I remember playing. Do not go to that sword. Come around here first. Pick this up. What it does is, if my memory is right, boost your voice. Yes, it does. Who could possibly be the owner of this sword? It's humongous. Oh, well, damn. Mr. Owner seems angry. Why not dodge forward? Alright. Now this man, listen. Does not play. Does not play. Does not play. Best thing to do against this thing. Against my guy, Wolf Sif. Is stay under his stomach. That little. Ooh, that spin attack he just did. Do not block it. Where he spins in a circle. Twice. Do not block it. 
You will die. There we go. Bad attack? Don't ever block. Unless you have a good sword. Or a good shield. It never works out in your favor. I think I broke him. Do something, wolf. Do something, Sif. This isn't like you. Oh. Caught me. Okay. Gonna take this time to heal. Very shortly, you will realize why this is one of the more emotional boss fights. Come on. Get into it. Come on. Come on. Stop hopping around. So basically, the owner of this ward, right, is the wolf's uh, owner, master, in a way. And as you can see, he is quite skilled with it, as his owner was. And I believe this is the owner's grave. So this man, this wolf, is doing everything in his power to defend this man, even after death. And unfortunately, it just ain't working out. Even on the brink of death, this wolf is still loyal to his man, to its master, to its owner. Limping on the battlefield. Now this is the ring I was talking about. When I said this ring will be very important. I'm talking about this one. Nah, I lied. This one is very important. This will serve us well in the far future. We are now done in this area. Unless you prefer to do the online multiplayer. Or whatever the hell with Alvina. That ugly ass cat. And as you can see, we've collected another soul from another boss.